It is raining. I don't know how long I'll have power for. You guys will let me know when you can see me. You see me from here? Now you see me? Now you guys see me. Oops, I should plug my phone in because I was running on a little bit of dead. Hello, little friends that are here. I have a haul video for you. You want to go outside, butt butts? You're scared of the rain. Who are you fooling? Anyways, I have a haul video. And FYI, for people that are coming in, Gabriel, my little one, is chatting as me in the chat. Um, we've had a little bit of a rough day today. Gabriel, we've been up with him since about 4.30. He woke up and he was getting sick everywhere. <laughs> So he is feeling a lot better now, but he's felt like doo-doo all day long. So we just stayed around the house and did things we needed to do here. Yeah, got him some Gatorade. So um, I didn't go out and get you guys any Goodwill footage. So I wanted to share with you uh, some of the things that Aaron had set up for me on these different shelves showing which things uh, I could pull from to do a haul video to share with you guys. So if I look down, it's because I'm reading my tablet. Um, I can't see all the stuff up there. So, but hi everyone coming in. Let's see, we have Javier, Peterson, CJ, Lori, Claire, the Peacock Parlor. Um, Gabriel's in the house. Hi, Charlotte. Well, she said be right back. Aaron's in there, my love. Brigia. What does my shirt say? And where did you get it? My shirt says demonetized, and I got it from my daughter's closet. <laughs> and she got it from, I think we got it from the thrift store. Hi, Diane. So... Yeah, I have some stuff to share with you guys. Um, and tomorrow, I don't know if I'll be able to get any footage tomorrow either because we have stuff to do for the kids' school. We have to take Bianca now to pick up her laptop um, for school. And I just don't know what I'll be able to get done for you guys. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that we found over our last couple of trips. To We went to Goodwill. We went to a hospice thrift store that had a nice sale going on. Um, and can we just talk about the other day's Goodwill video? I had, I was doing so good. I had so much footage for you guys. That would have been like a 20 something minute video. Um, not including the driving. I know some people didn't like the driving and other people really liked it. I guess fast forward if you don't like it, but... Um, Huh? I wish I could fast forward it. You wish you could fast forward it? The drive. Oh, the actual drive? Yeah. If you don't, yeah, come with me on the actual drive and then we'll talk. <laughs> but, um, so I thought we had good footage like the entire time. And I'm editing the video and I'm like, yeah, I'm in my jam. I got my headphones on and I'm editing, 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 and I'm listening to what I'm saying because I, I have to go in and I have to adjust the sound. For every single clip, I have to adjust the equalizer. I have to remove background noise. I have to try and do all that stuff. And all of a sudden, it's talking. Like, I'm talking, I'm talking, and all of a sudden it goes, Rrr, and it's dead. Every other clip until I get in the car and I unplugged my microphone from my phone. So whatever happened to my microphone that I was wearing, I lost every bit of freaking footage I had. Well, not the footage, but the, the audio. So when I was doing that, I was, I just got so frustrated. I was like, there's no point. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna do it. So I just put a little bit of music and was like, nope, not gonna bother with it because, oh, it's frustrating. What? I think it has a switch to cut the mic on and off. I think when you were wrestling around, you turn the switch 
well, it doesn't cut it off, but it switches to another mode, and I might have done that. I haven't looked at the microphone yet, but I think that's, I might have done that. But nevertheless, I lost the footage. So, my apologies. <laughs> I was doing so good. I stopped doing those uh, types of videos because the music is just so loud, and I could never really get rid of the background noise. Um, to YouTube's liking. Now, every once in a while, you'll notice that I, I try my best. Again, I'll go through every clip, I'll do the little denoise thing, I'll do the equalizer thing, and YouTube still catches something that they don't like. So, um, they'll give you the option to redo your entire video again, or they'll remove the sound from that little snippet. So, you've noticed those. Um, so, I was just like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, no, Nate, we're live right now. Sorry. And hello. Um, yeah, you, well, and that's the thing is, um, some, a lot of people don't like voiceovers because they like to hear you in the moment. Um, I don't particularly like to do voiceovers because it's even more editing that I have to do. Um, I have to go and like remember, okay, what was I looking at? What did I find? You have to go through each thing. And so I don't particularly like to do those kinds either. Um, editing is not my favorite. There are people that are born to edit and love to make like movie montages and things like that. That is not my thing. Get me in a thrift store on a junkie pile and a sh on a on a shelf digging through stuff and that's my jam <laughs> but editing no i don't like it so anyways um let's see yeah uh nate gabriel is on my computer and he's talking to you guys as me oh he said happy birthday to you oh hi to you Oh my goodness. So I've had a headache for like the past two weeks. This like dull, right in the back round headache. So here's hoping that'll go away sometime. Oh my gosh. What a long day we've had. But again, before like, or after now explaining to you guys all those things about the, my video mishaps. <laughs> um, I do want to share with you guys the stuff that we found while we were at the thrift stores so let me get my Debbie Downer self back in a better mood okay and now we'll be what well, now we'll do good okay hmm I don't know what to show first let me pick everyone's saying happy birthday to you that's nice you got lots of happy birthdays and thank you guys all you guys that commented on um, the post where Bianca showed her shoes um, She's very proud of herself. I appreciate it. That got a lot of love. So I appreciate everyone who commented. You guys are awesome and you made her day. And all of you guys that went over and checked out her channel and watched her video. She's been telling me all day, like, Mom, I got to 300 views. So she's very excited. So thank you for that as well. Um, I'm not a Debbie Downer. <laughs> I can be sometimes. <laughs> Uh, you know, we all got that mood, you know? We all got that, like, can anything else go wrong vibe? <laughs> so, oh, thanks, Jay. Sorry, I'm trying to, like, look up here to, like, look at you guys in the face. But I have to read down here. Um, What's her channel? Um, I know her, her channel name, but yeah, it's, um, do you want to open a new, a new, um, thing and, or maybe Peterson can do it real quick. I was going to say open a new window and paste Bianca's. Oh, he wants to try. Are you, huh? Yeah. Yes. Gabriel's trying to type it into. <laughs> I 
I was saying open a new window, like another tab, and then search Bianca's channel and paste it into the chat. Anyways, sorry. Technical difficulties. There you go. That should be, if Gabriel did it right, that should be her uh, channel there. She shows her artwork. She, Aaron built her tripod today, um, like a desk tripod that he had similar, very similar to what he made for me when I was doing like card tutorials back when people like watched those. <laughs> um, he built her one today, so she's excited to like draw up some stuff and be able to use her tripod. So, okay. What to show, what to show, what to show. Here is one of the first things we picked up. You guys might have seen this in a video. This New Mexico with the Roadrunner. Um, I was thinking at like at a glance, I'm like, mm, it's Treasure Crab. No, it's not Treasure Crab, but that's still okay. Um, it was in really good shape. And I think that it, the subject matter is really cool. I love the, the colors in it and stuff and that it's like pottery. So I did end up getting this. This will probably go at, uh, like online. Um, I don't have a box. It'll probably go online. So ex forgive my bending over there, but let's see. That was a Goodwill piece. And then we picked this up, this brass mask. Um, it was like, it's not cloisonne. It's not, it's, it's not really like enamely or anything, but it's got that vibe. It's got an interesting style to it. So we went ahead and picked that up. We grabbed that right off the guy's cart. Um, you guys saw in one of the videos us pick up this uh, string of pumpkins. Now, I didn't open it yet to see if they were marked, like with a company. Let's see, find out. That one just says number two. Yeah, I don't see like a company name, but they're really neat. I didn't need to type guys. Huh? I, I didn't need to type guys. I was trying to type something, but I kept pressing backspace, but then it just entered what was left of the sentence. Oh, okay. Well, just be careful so you don't, you're not like spamming the chat, you know? All right, so we found those. That was a good deal. And then I had, this was in our cart shot from the yesterday's video that got, hmm, ruined. Um, I was talking to you guys about this. This is La Musa. Um, to, like when I read it, to read Spanish, that's what it says to me. If you say it differently in Italian, forgive me. <laughs> but it's made in Italy, red, white, and blue, Italian uh, pottery. I have something in my eye and it's really bugging me. And I was gonna say, can you believe I didn't find it with any chips or anything, but look, the bottom right there has a little boo-boo. But uh, this brand actually does really well. There's one that's very like, Picasso-esque, how they paint all over it. And I think I have a vase. I have a piece in my eBay store uh, right now. But that particular brand does really well. Kind of wish I would have found it, you know, a little bit ago for 4th of July, but there's lots of people that decorate with Americana stuff. So it should do okay. Put that in there. Okay, that was Goodwill. I'm trying to find... Okay, these were Goodwill. You guys saw these in a couple videos back. The Temptations Santa mugs. These are so cool. And they're so tall. You can hold all kinds of stuff in there. They're just, so you have the mug, right? And then this kind of keeps all the like dust and gross stuff out. Kind of like those tea, um, tea sets, tea cups have. But it's still like fancy. It's Santa's noggin. I mean, and it's like I said, it's that Temptations brand that you guys were telling me that's only sold on QVC. So I guess that's how you can get that. Um, but a lot of people were also saying that, and I think Danny even mentioned that she didn't know, like 
if that's sitting on a shelf, she didn't realize that was the Temptations brand. So, and here's another one. So, this is a big guy, and I love the handle. It looks like a candy cane. All right, so that, and this, oh my gosh, I love this. Look at this teapot. It's from Pier 1. It's 3D. Now, I couldn't find this exact Christmas one, but there is one with like birds and butterflies that's listed. Well, it was when I looked it up anyway, for like $60 or $70. Um, so, but I thought this was just so cool. Look at this here. And there's nothing the matter with it. We are so excited. And it doesn't say like a year or anything like that. Nope, just hand-painted porcelain exclusively for Pier 1 imports. Hand wash only. But look at that. I just love how that's 3D. What are you doing? My hand's slipping. I just got accidentally dropped. Oh, please don't. I just mopped the floor. <laughs> it's cold. I just pasted it in your My eBay? eBay? Oh, thank you, buddy. All right, so I'm not gonna put that in the box because I don't want it to get chipped. Now you guys might have seen this also in a video. We had this in a live sale, it didn't sell. Sad day for this little froggy, but who will go on eBay? It's Howells Made in Italy. Never seen that one before, but this frog is actually on there. So I think I'm shaking the table a lot. Sorry about that. I'm um, you don't have so all of the pier ones closed here like brick and mortar stores and they're only online um, When you would go in there gosh, I remember going in there as a kid and you were just like wow looking at everything um, It's just to me pier one is very like brings me back to the 90s like friends probably decorated their apartment with things from pier one um, but like one candle was like $52. I mean, it was really expensive. So I never shopped there as a young adult. If I had anything for one, it was definitely thrifted and I definitely thought I was cool if I had it. <laughs> but anyways, I got this really neat frog jug that can be used like a vase. I was saying in the, the live uh, sale that I would love to find, even though I don't like frogs and you guys know that, bull. Um, the, you know, the three frog vase where they're kind of like standing up with their mouths open. I would love to find one of those. All right, so we got that. And then we got a couple of these. This particular one sells for about, was it 20 or $30, babe? The Santa with, I was showing you. I think it was $30 for the Santa with the Flamingo. They're by Cape Shore. And no, mom, I'm very, very tired. I had to wait for like the 52 sales to be done and over with so I don't get called a big old meanie and come on afterwards. <laughs> but they're made for Cape Shore and Cape Shore does a lot of like nautical, you know, stuff with Santa. Santa with palm trees and X, Y, and Z. Um, so yeah, there's that one. What else did we get? Oh, we got this guy. The whole box down there is stuff in it too. Well, I was trying to find Goodwill. Because I know I have the video titled from Goodwill, so I'm making sure I show you. You think, yep, you did. Yeah. Gabriel's talking as me, Mom. No, I was like, I, earlier I was like, all right, I think I'm going to do a, a pop up, like, live haul. And Aaron was like, nope, so and 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 so having a sale. I'm like, you know, the Baccarat glass sulfide paperweights you have listed. Thank you. Um, we've sold quite a few, um, but those are what the ones we have left. So, all right, next we I had to have this guy. Even though he's probably missing maybe something here and missing a bottom. And he didn't have a price tag, but he was just like this sort of wannabe galvanized metal spooky looking cat lantern. And he had to come home with me. <laughs> so.
So I got that from Goodwill. And then I've been collecting Christmas stuff. Um, these just say Happy Halloween. So they could have come from Target for all I know, but that's that vintage looking owl. I wish I would have found the one with like the vintage looking cat too, but I just grabbed these two. Got those. These were probably, I don't know, we have, we're, we've been saving some Christmas stuff and some like Halloween and fall stuff, but I think it's going to be a mix of some stuff will be in a, in maybe an upcoming sale and some will go to our booth and the things that I think that are really unique or interesting, cool, will be listed on eBay. So it's a little bit of a mix of everything. Is any of this done? So I did, nope. I did those. Here's another thing. Look at this skeleton bowl. We found this guy there. Now these aren't vintage, but I still loved him. He's still cool. I could, we could use these, this one in the booth because we put like little candies and stuff in our booth. Um, and we could do something like that. Or we can use them here. Oh, he said no, don't put it in the box. Um... We picked this big honker up, this wooden candlestick holder. Now it reminded me like very, like if you had tribal African safari type decor, but it also took me back to like mid-century starburst um, boho decor, if that makes sense. So we did pick this candle holder up and this will probably go online because a lot of the hand carved wood items do pretty well. Okay, so then I think this and this, this Goodwill and this and this. Gotta get a drink. I wish my head would stop hurting. That would be epic, Gabriel. <laughs> All right, then uh, we spotted this. This was in yesterday's video. This is from a Las Vegas um, casino. casino. <laughs> and it's the Luxor Casino that doesn't exist anymore. And those types of things can be really valuable, which is like why I tell you guys, if you find things with hotel names like restaurant wear or ashtrays, you know, things like that. Look up the the restaurant because they might not even be around um, anymore and it might make it more valuable, more collectible. Same thing with like dairy farms and things like that. Be careful with those fancy new headphones you got. Um, oh, it's still there? Babe, I thought you said this wasn't there anymore. Okay, well, I guess we heard wrong. Apparently, this is still there. These are my new headphones that come in a super cool case. Hold on, let me This case. He got cool headphones in a cool case. <laughs> and a cool keyboard. So, um, anyways, this one apparently is still there. <laughs> But if they aren't, just look them up. And if they're not, it could uh, make them a little bit more valuable. But it's a bank. And uh, we were telling you in the video, when Aaron looked it up, there was a, um, I think it was like a notepad or something like that, that sold for about $35. So we're going to see what this bank will sell for. And if it's still around and it's selling for $35, pretty good. Then we picked up this little um, baggy little lot of the hand-painted little bobbly head turtles. So we got these guys. There's one, two, three. All these little things here. So we got those at the Goodwill. Then we picked up these. Uh, now, I 
when I picked them up, when I saw them on the shelf, I'm like, what the heck is that? Because they were all taped together. And then I was telling Aaron, I'm like, oh gosh, I think these are weights for something. And then the more I looked at them, I'm like, wait a minute, those look like weights for a clock. So they are, they're weights for a cuckoo clock, um, which sell, gosh, these, when I looked them up, this was a few weeks ago now. I think like $50-ish, somewhere around there. But yeah, they're for a cuckoo clock. So we picked those up and then we found this little, uh, it's either, I think it was an S or something like that in sign language, or it means something else, something, something. This little wooden hand. I like to find the little hands on um, the different shapes. I don't find those often. Then we got a lucky cat. I like finding these. I have one right there. The little money cats. Everybody needs themselves a money cat. One that'll bring you money instead of cost you a bunch of money. Hmm? All right. So I think that is it from the items that we picked up from Goodwill. Now we have a mix of, well, these I got from, oh wait, no. Is this from Goodwill? Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is from Goodwill, but it's a watercolor that is signed. And down here, it looks like it says Rome 1998. So someone painted, like sketched out and painted, and I can't read the signature to save my life. I've tried um, this little watercolor of Rome. Um, anyone else see what? Okay, I don't know. Okay. So I got that. And then we picked up these Charming Tales little figurines from um, Diane. So we got this guy. And this one doesn't have a picture. Oh, I'm not even going through that. We got two, <laughs> I'm not opening up that box, but we got two of these Charming Tales. Um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to put it in this box and it's not working. Okay, you're not going in there. I'm so annoyed. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, that was it. Then we have um, an antique store and the hospice. Pretty sure. The antique store and hospice. So from one of the antique stores, I think the girl made these from her booth. These little pumpkin people. And we really liked them, so we got all of the ones that she made. <laughs> These little pumpkin pick faces. They look pretty rustic. So we grabbed those. And I'm not gonna put those. Picked up this witch that was made out of, I don't know what it's made out of, but it was really neat. So we picked this up. Very cool. The bottom of her is like cardboard. <laughs> what else did I get there? I don't think I got that there. Nope. Okay. I didn't get that there. Okay. We picked up this uh, lion. No. Yes. Tiger. Tiger. Planter. <laughs> A tiger planter at the antique store that we went to. Okay. And then we got a brass swan. Now we went to one and, oh, it was the one um, with that we call with the dots. If you find a dot sticker on it, it's 75% off. So um, the ones that have the string 
were from that store, I believe. But we got a swan planter. <clears throat> I want to say that was 75% off. And then we got this piece. Doesn't say anything on it, but it looks like, you know, Portuguese or Italian pottery. But I thought that was really pretty. And it doesn't have any chips. Couldn't believe it. This was one of my favorite things that we picked up. This giant metal um, rooster has a great paint job. And it's signed Portugal down there and has their sticker right there. And it's, I mean, that's no little rooster. That's, that's a big rooster. All right, we got that there. And then we got a whole set. I paid for the whole set. So there was four of these and these are Heise glass. What was the color name of the Heise glass that, um, there's different colors of their like custard glass, you know, I can't remember, but they're hand painted. So there was four of these and then there was this. Ugh, my phone is saying bedtime reminder, you're supposed to be sleeping, but this glows really well. Can you see? Ooh, that's a bright light. But this one is lovely. So that glows really, really well. So we picked up that set. So it had the sugar and the four little dessert type bowls, berry bowls, dessert bowls, whatever you want to call them. So there was that. And then I think Aaron spotted this big old guy there. He was really neat. He has a very judgy grumpy face on him um i don't think he was signed with any information but he was a good enough price to still grab him anyway so we picked and that's again is no small little fella so we got him hi christina Sorry if I've not said hi to people coming in. I'm like, <sighs> I'm all over the place. Then I grabbed one of these pillowcases. And this one is, it says, it's for a sister. And it says Fort Gordon, Georgia. It's one of those military uh, pillowcases you know, when the, their loved ones were in the military. It says exclusive of decoration made in USA. But, so I picked that up. Oh, we're not gonna be on here long enough for you to get snacks. It's time for me to go. I went to go shower and my daughter used all the hot water so add that to the list <laughs> yeah um and i have a headache oh my gosh okay so then we went to the hospice thrift store and they had what was their sale it was 50 percent off christmas and then some color tag sales so they had a giant left in, you know, this set right here with the holly berries, but they had each thing like marked individually. They didn't sell it as a set. So it was behind the counter and it, I had her check the price on like a cream and a sugar. And I think it said $19.99. So I said, oh, the set's $10 then. And she was like, oh no, that's just this piece. And I was like, oh. So we got just a few pieces from it. Um, I got the ones that like didn't have very, very minimal damage, you know, cause these things get damaged pretty easily. But we got this one. And then I'm just reading your comments about the hot water. 
And then here, this one still has the left-in sticker, but we got the little basket that goes to it. And then we've got these candlestick holders and this one still has the stickers on it. And then these are really cool candle holders. These and these, I think were probably a handmade item because it looks like, or maybe it's a different company, Calvit. It's like signed in cursive, like one right there and on the other one, right there in the middle. So we got those. And then I picked this set up because, and they're not old, but they look old. These two little ones right here, that's why I grabbed those, this little Christmas set. And hi, sweeties. These were really cute. Oh my gosh, look at these chunky snowmen. We've got these, little salt and peppers. We got, this guy didn't have a mate, but he was just so cute. I couldn't leave him there. Hi, Deanne. Did I not say hi, Debbie? Hi, Debbie. <laughs> then we got this little teddy bear, little trinket box. He's, I like his, uh, his colors are like muted. And I'm almost done, guys. We picked up this um, Anna Lee doll. When's your date? This one says 1971, and it has the Night Before Christmas book with him, with the Santa. Oh, thanks, Debbie. Yeah, I, I showed those. And then we got this guy. I call him Steve, lovingly, because my friend Brianna, um, that's what they named their their elf, their elf on the shelf, and that's what he looks like to me. So his name is Steve. We got Steve. And then the last few things we got was... Okay, now these aren't like real, real old ones uh, because I usually keep those. <laughs> but I did pick up some different Santa mugs. So we got this guy. Isn't Peterson my elf on a shelf? Uh, no. He doesn't like it. Your mask thing, he's like fucking his little paw at it. I don't blame him. It's creepy. And then. This guy says Fitz and Floyd. Um, well, oh my gosh. This was sold in a, oh, for $36. It has its original thing on it for a set of these. But this is like a bear. She could, but she might be a little mischievous elf on the shelf. And here's another one of those Santa mugs. He doesn't say anything. Like I said, they're not like really old, but still Santa cute. Here's the other guy. He does have a little bit of wear on his handle, but again, he's Fitz and Floyd. And then the last, there was a few more there, but oh, I just noticed this one has a chip, but the nose was chipped, but this one is too. Well, not the nose, the little spot on his hat right there. So that, I can't believe I did that so quickly. I tried not to like ramble too much so that I could show you guys everything and it not take forever because I think there's other stuff people are doing now. But anyways, I really appreciate you guys 
stopping by and um, joining me in my crazy day, end of day, might wake up to my kid puking, raining all day, headache for a week, no hot water to shower, day. I appreciate you guys joining my struggle. All right, so you guys make sure, let's see. Do we have a burning question? Do you have a question that you want them to answer in the comments down below? Can you think of something real quick? No. No? Gosh. Um, what's your favorite scary movie? I know it's simple. I know it's not as cool as my mom's questions, but leave that in the comments down below before you guys go. Not in the chat, but in the comments. What's your favorite scary movie? Especially since fall is approaching. All right, guys. I will talk to you again really soon. I'm going to get some sleep. Bye.